Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody. Everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and enjoying your time with family and friends and celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior. Yes, and cleaning up all the mess. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to do all of that yet. So that's where we're filming high <laughs> from here up. We're filming high and not low today. Yeah, that's right. So today, you know what? I woke up with this scripture in my spirit and the Lord gave me two acrostics to boot. So Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> you know I like them. Oh, wait a minute. My sharp scissors. Oh, no, no, no. Just stay here. Are you ready? I got some sharp, got scissors, some sharp for, scissors for, for Christmas. Christmas. You know, Pray I like... for her. <laughs> <laughs> I've already cut on my hair today. No, so the scripture today is Luke 1, 78 through 79. Because of God's tender mercy, the morning light from heaven is about to break upon us. Amen. To give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and Thank to you. guide us to the path of peace. I love that scripture. Well, as soon as I read it, this word from the from the word guide. And well, we're calling the podcast today. The, or the guide, broadcast. broadcast. What I call it? Podcast. The broadcast, the guiding light. The guiding light. So in the word guide, immediately the Lord showed me this. You don't even know this yet. No, I don't. I hope it makes sense. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's give us instructive direction every day. Amen. And the path is pray, P-A-T-H, pray and trust him. Amen. That's what he wants us to do. But I love that. He is our guiding light. Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> when we think about the celebration of Christmas and we're celebrating after the fact. We we know what happened. We know what he did, the price he paid, how he came in a lonely manger, was crucified, and is coming back King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes. But they didn't know that night. All they knew was that there was a promise of a Savior coming. And what a time of rejoicing it was. It said those scriptures that talked about that those that sat in darkness would see a great light. And that light has shone upon us. Yes. And it's time for us to allow it to shine through us to others because he still is the way through the darkness. And I'm so glad that he's here to guide us today, aren't you? Amen. So let's uh, finish out with a song. Will you sing with me today? Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Sing now. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Christ our Lord. He's our Lord. He's aren't, your Lord. You and he's glad, guiding you. Yeah, aren't you glad that he's still a guiding light today? That the truth that he brought then is still alive yes. today. He's still alive and he's still shining the light for us to follow. Remember, Say, Lord, in the word guide, give us instructive direction. He will. You know, his words also says in Psalms um, 32 and 8 and Isaiah 30 and 21, these go so well together. The Lord said, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way that you should go. And he said, I'm guiding you with my eye. That's his guiding light. And he said, in your ears, we'll hear a word behind you saying, this is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Amen. His eyes are upon you. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, Thank we're you. thankful for all of our friends, God, and family. Amen. We just pray your blessing over them on this beautiful Christmas day. Thank we you, ask Jesus. you, Lord, to continue to guide us, Father, in every step that we take. And let us rejoice in the gift that we've received in you. Lord, we th know that you're still in control. Yes. And that you're going to lead us all the way home. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas, guys. We, we love, love you. you all. Merry bye -bye. Christmas. Bye-bye.